Hi. So I'm halfway through getting ready because I do plan on doing a video to thank Manny MUA for his very candid and open video. And do I expect him to watch it? No, that's not the point. My thank you to him is simply because he validated the fact that it was only 10 subscribers and I don't care. So tune into that if you want to know. Either way, I do not clear a couple things up because I wasn't going to make a video but then mail came and I have all this, all right? So I don't know what this is. And I know it's from China and again, things from China take many, many months. So this is like literally a surprise. Because as per tracking things, I'm not supposed to be receiving anything. I have nothing that is supposed to be coming in. You know, things that I had money for and I bought then, you know, they've all arrived. So these are all things that I've either gotten my money back or are super, super late. So let's play surprise together. And the other thing I wanted to address right now is um this. I get it. If you're offended, I'm sorry. They, they came with the body. I grew them, they're mine, and I would very much love to get a reduction, but I can't. They have strict rules here in New Brunswick, and I don't weigh 160 pounds, nor will I ever. So, we have to live with it. And I understand that, you know, if you don't want to look at them, don't. And the next thing I want to say is that I've recently been in contact with the Humanity Project, and they're really confused as to why I've said that I wasn't like their favorite person so I want to clear that up and I'm really sorry if I misunderstood things I assumed that you know whatever and yes everybody who, who knows anything about me knows that I've gone through a lot recently and I've been under the assumption of a lot of things that weren't true and I'm now you know on my own two feet learning the, the real things I have been in contact with them before you know in life uh, to try to offer services to help whatnot and the real answer was I guess that whatever I'm trying to offer which is more like you know counseling and, and tutoring actually for kids because I do know math um, they're just not set up for that yet so it's not like they didn't want my help it just wasn't there now um, so and when it comes to what they believe in I would love to work with them I'd love to work alongside with them there's some of the missions that I have are the same as theirs. Mostly when it comes to affordable housing. I'm, I'm all about that. That's definitely true. And, and having some kind of like wage where people can live off of it. And again, there's things here, you know, mail. Cheaper things. Like, is it worth buying there where you can get it for less money if you wait two months kind of stuff? Because, again, I mean, I know that they're focusing on like homelessness thing because that's the big, big issue. But underneath it all, I believe that the mission is also, you know, to once the homelessness thing or whatever ends the people that are housed, because they call them the working poor, which they are, you know, they could get things. So maybe I can help, you know, with me buying things online, help other people to be able to get the few little extra things they want in life. Because like it or not, we need to buy ourselves extra things every once in a while because if we don't it really blows your self-esteem <clears throat> let's not go there so if I can find things you know tell you it's worth waiting two months because you're gonna get it for four dollars instead of going to the store and paying 40 I'm not kidding it can be that much cheaper so I would love to work alongside with them with that and again underneath it all I the whole thing is we have the same view that People, no matter what their situation, whether they be mentally ill, whether they're addicted to something, whether they're just down on their luck or whatever the heck it may be, they are human beings with feelings and they deserve respect. They deserve, you know, a life worth living like everybody else. Nobody's trash. Nobody should have to sleep outside. Nobody should have to wade through a garbage can. And yes, I do know this firsthand. I have kind of let them know that, but it was like 11 o'clock last night, so I don't know if they've you know, answered or not. But way back when, when I first started working, I worked at Subway. It was at Roy, next to Roy's Convenience. And 
we knew that people were going through our garbage can to look for food, but we also threw out a lot of knives and we were worried that they would get hurt. So I learned then, you know, me, little autistic person, not really knowing much about social cues, realized that why don't we just like, you know, put them out there. The subs that were thrown out that, you know, dropped on the floor or somebody, whatever. I mean, if they're willing to eat in my garbage, they'll, you know, let's just put it out there for them to have it, right? So I learned all that stuff and holy macaroni on a stick. Um, I had one of the, the mail things that I opened on my own because it come from social development and I didn't realize how important it really goes with the last thing. So the letter is that there is now a program, so I guess the government of New Brunswick recently invested $11.3 million to provide financial support to informal caregivers. So the whole thing is, is that the primary informal caregiver benefit is a non-taxable financial benefit of $106.25 monthly to eligible people. And then there's a bunch of things, because it's all in French, I don't get most of it. Um, but I did have a form in the end with like my name, so they're obviously giving it to me. And I called the number, and they're like, well, yes, you qualify, you know, you're, you're on disability, you need help, whatnot. And yes, I do have a support worker that does come, you know. But however, I do have another person in my life who, when they have time, stops and helps with other things because support workers, you know, they can only do so much. Like when it comes to banking and whatnot, I need help with that. I mean, I know I can do math. I don't understand banking. And I also have RDSPs, which, you know, is another thing that comes with having the disability tax credit. I don't understand nothing on that. They help me with that kind of stuff, and they also help me do other errands around town that aren't about, they're more like personal things, and even sometimes I need things like going to Costco, because it's, it's cheaper there. They help me with that. So I called, and that person qualifies, so yay. I mean, anybody out there who is on disability or, or is caring for someone who's on disability as the informal primary caregiver call social development and ask about this that's the coolest thing ever mind blown but quickly if anybody has seen this this is me editing a video that will go up later because i finally found vegan mayo part of my diet is that i can't eat eggs and i found mayo without eggs so i'm trying it out and i'm just showing this out because again I am on a limited budget and this is free editing software and it's got a little bit of bugs but once you learn how to use it it's really good there is a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to use it um, there is a part of it that you can buy like the pro I haven't even bought that yet and I'm still working on it I'm learning on my own so it's pretty good so I'm just putting it out there it's called shotgut I'll leave the link for it below if you're interested. Not sponsored, I'm just simply saying it's free and it works. All right, so. Um, hmm, I don't know, it says, from China, the sender signature is Emmy. Seriously, I don't need to see my address, but can you see that? And then, okay. There's a sticker. Goods not fulfilling the conditions laid down in Article 28 and 29 of the Treaty on Functioning of the European Union. Oh dear. I think I know what this is. I think this is the phone case I ordered for my new Huawei. And by the way, this is an iPhone 10 case and it pretty much works. The only thing is, is that the sensor doesn't quite, but it will work to unlock, it just won't work for like unlocking your bank and, and stuff, which is kind of a good thing. Um, it's warm in here, my glasses are falling. So the reason why I'm telling you that I think it's my cell phone case because it has this, if anybody has ever noticed that when you log into a lot of accounts now these days in the past couple weeks, most, Pay, anything that has to do with like a payment thing, it asks you to like rechange thing and they say something about like UA. So what happened is that the European Union has changed the rules about electronic payments to
to make them safer for people. So websites had to redo their security encryption and whatnot um, when it came to payment stuff. So they're just letting you know about that. So that's why I'm thinking that's what it is. And I'm correct. It's this cute thing. Now, if I remember correctly, this was $6. Okay? So $6 for a cell phone case. Why not? And, okay, this is why it's cheap. So it's just a little plastic thingy. And I, I wanted this clip thing so that it could hold it up. Now, this is just like... Because, <laughs> you know, you all know me. I like shiny this iphone 10 case was actually four dollars at dollarama and i actually really like it like it's kind of like you know the rubber part if i drop it because i drop everything and it's got like a hard case so I, I might go back to that um let's see if this fits the phone Oh, yes, it does. Fits like a glove. That is great. Now, it, it looks, you can't tell that it's like a flimsy little piece of paper thingy back there. So, I'm, uh, I'm happy. And the, the hole's in the right spot for my fingerprint. And if you look, my camera's not sticking out. So, the one downfall that came to this Hawaii Pro or P20 Lite Hawaii P20 Lite as that the camera part is raised so if you don't have a case you can hit that camera and whatever so this case is just thick enough that it's flush with the camera and my little you know people have those pop it things you know hold it up um it's it's you know a little you can see, whatever for six dollars definitely worth it worth it yay Happy camper. On to these two big ones. I have no idea what the heck I ordered that was this big. These things. Could this finally be the polygel stuff I ordered back in January? I hope so. That would be neat. Because that would give me something to do. Now this is very well packaged, okay? They obviously didn't want this to break. And that this is not good for the environment. This Oh my dear. All of this stuff, all of this was to, it, yeah, it's gel polish colors. Um, however, it's from Born Pretty, but I don't think it's actual Born Pretty. I think these are knockoffs and I will show you why later because I have actual Born Pretty stuff and this does not look like their logo. But. I'm sorry to say this to people out there who spend a lot of money on branding their stuff. I mean, if I can help it, I will not buy a knockoff. But if I accidentally buy a knockoff that works, I'm going for it. Sorry. Um, this, oh my dear. All of this just for that. Okay, this is the stuff I was looking for um, for my poly gel thing. So this is the Born Pretty Soak Top Off Coat and other gel poly. I don't know. I don't even remember ordering this many things. I don't know. I'll have to look up to see how much they were. Basically, all this stuff was free because it took way too long to get here. I ordered this in January. We're almost July. Uh, I think this is the poly gel. If it is, I'm having a good time because... I don't have any shifts this weekend at work. So, because that's just how the cookie crumbles. I'm okay with that. I already had two shifts on this paycheck, which means that at the end of the month, on the top, you know, of what I get. So, what I do get from disability almost pays the bills. Now that I have to pay my own cell phone, I'm a little bit almost pays the bills, and my work money is for groceries. It shouldn't have to be that way. Again, this is why I think the Humanity Project and I see an eye on that. I shouldn't have to have to get... The reason I'm on disability... Ugh, whatever. I think you get it. Anyway. But then, it also allows me, by working a little bit, 
to get out of my house because I don't usually leave and to interact with other people and I do find it gives me a sense of validation because I am working um, even though it's an accommodated schedule and they do accommodate things for me thankfully you think very much um, to you know help me be better at it but what I do I am still held to the same standard of work as everybody else so it gives me a lot of self-confidence when I you know do well that you know I can do stuff so I don't know about that but ah oh, yes that's exactly what it is they're this little look how little they are anyway the real poly gel stuff is Canadian actually it's called gelish and that stuff is expensive it's like 300 and something dollars and it does work I have to say it, it does and before I bought all this stuff I did my research YouTube. YouTube is sometimes the best thing ever. Because, yep, yeah, these are dupes. These are knockoffs. Now, there's a lot of people out there that are making dupes and knockoffs. And I let all the YouTube people test it out for me. So I watched a lot of YouTube. And, you know, they tested a lot of them. Some of them worked. Some of them didn't. And when it came to this particular brand, which is Cool Girl. Let's see. It, it, it's all mostly in Chinese. Um, but I watched three different YouTubers, and I will link those videos below if I can find them. Um, Susanna, I forget your name. Girl, you're awesome. Anyway, um, talk about this and how it worked for them. So I took a chance on it and, and bought them. However, they ended up being free. So what did I get? I got the forms, which are the poppets two gels. I got a clear and a bare pink, which is good. Little tip, when you buy any of these, you know, poly gel, not gelish, whatever. Um, everything that I've read from reviews is that the white color or anything that's opaque doesn't cure. It doesn't dry. You have to get clear ones. So that's that. I got the cute little tool looks like a Harry Potter wand. Oh, yes, Gryffindor for the win, man. Um, so it's got a brush on one end. And uh, so that's cool. And the other thing, if anybody's familiar with polygel, is um, they want you to buy this thing called a slip solution. And money saving tip. Again, learned it from YouTube because they tried it. Isopropyl alcohol, it has to be the isopropyl alcohol which is, you know, usually not the one you find in Dollarama. Anyway, there's a difference. That one's ethyl alcohol. That, uh, isopropyl alcohol, at least 70% or higher, will work the same. So all that does, that slip solution, is that it stops that gel stuff from sticking to your brush. You can use alcohol. Instead, you just need a little bit more of it. However, a whole big bottle of alcohol is like a dollar at Walmart and that slip solution they want to sell you is like 10 bucks for like 20 milliliters, whatever. So I'm going to look at all this. I will take a picture of all the colors because I have no idea what they are. Add them in the end. So my point is that I am extremely happy that this finally came in the mail. Yes, sometimes it's worth waiting all that time. like. Nails are not a priority. Food is a priority. This stuff, I mean, this all cost me $90, by the way. I obviously got it back because I never got here on time. But my $90 was actually money that I had been given as a gift for Christmas, and I decided to invest it in this because I like doing my nails, and I was used to doing the gel stuff. And the UV lamps were just too much. And um, so I bought all the other stuff. I mean, I have it all there. The, the gel that, not the gel. I have all the glitter, the everything, the LED lamp. So I'm going to try it off. And the last tip is if anybody wants to invest in this, you need an LED lamp. Make sure it's a 48 watt LED lamp. You can get them on AliExpress. You can get them on Wish. Not a problem. Even if they're like 15 bucks, they're good. Wait, this is the one that I got. Now, I bought the name brand one. 
from Amazon, obviously. It was about $45, which is really, really good price because usually like professional things cost like 200 something bucks. And it does come apart if you want to when it's got LEDs. And it has all the certifications. So that's fine. Um, I have seen these exact same ones on AliExpress and on Wish. I guess I'm sure it's there. For less money, don't worry about it. Go for it. It's, it's most probably the exact same thing. Just when you get it, you know, make sure it has the certification so that you don't electrocute yourself. And the next thing to be very aware of when you're buying online is to look for what kind of plug you get. Because you're buying internationally and you might accidentally buy a European plug. And that doesn't work because they have different voltage and they have mostly different kind of current. So make sure you have a, an American plug. And even, again, if it's less money, there's sometimes reasons why. So look into it. A lot of them are sold at lower watts. For this gel, poly gel stuff to actually work very well, it needs to have 48 watts. And to explain the reason why, I would have to go into a lot of math and the stuff I went to college for. So let's just say 48 watts is good. Anything lower than that isn't going to be quite strong enough and you might struggle with your results. And that's all I have to say. So, my conclusion, one. So, conclusion, are things worth it coming from China and having to wait a long time? Yeah, it depends, again. Is it something you need right, right now? If it's something you need right, right now, then no. Is it something that you want to treat yourself or that you're eventually, you know, you can wait for? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it took me pretty much six months to get this stuff. But because I waited six months, I ended up getting it all for free. Free is good. Well, I do have to tell you that I'm one excited little girl. Okay, whatever. Woman. Unicorn, whatever. So, this is everything that I've gotten so far. So, I think you've seen these. So, these are just jewels. Of course, I have a bunch more coming because they're like a dollar on Amazon. This little stick that looks like a pencil, it's actually wax. So you just touch the jewel and put it. I i told you, I've been stocking up. These are nail dehydrators because when you do this stuff, you have to like put dehydrator on your nails first. Those are the forms, so they're called poppets, are the forms, and I've tried them all, by the way. So, like I said, these are the colors that I got, and don't worry about the fact that some of them are wrinkly, because I just simply did, like, color thing. There's, there's nothing underneath there. Um, and when I'm telling you that, you know, it has the Born Pretty name, but I don't think it's the real company. It's because I actually do have real Born Pretty. This is the real stuff. And this is the other stuff that I also have from them. So, unfortunately, they are knockoffs. However, I do have to admit that they're extremely good quality. Of course, I have, like, you know, a glittery one. <laughs> so, I guess, I mean, this is why I shouldn't order things at midnight. Um, I had got four colors from the gray series, one that was from the platinum series, and then three from the nude series. I think they all came in, like, a pack of that many for, like, one price. And, um... So this is the poly gel stuff. It works. I just tried it out. Um, again, you can use isopropyl alcohol instead of... So this bottle's a dollar at Walmart, by the way. You don't have to buy their, their fancy fancy stuff. But you do need to have like a special like bowl. It has to be glass or this one happens to be ceramic because it, it is corrosive, I suppose, I guess. Um, so these little poppets, because it's the cheap ones, they do come with a little clip to hold them on while you put them under the lamp. And this is the lamp that I was talking about. So yeah, I, I have one and it has all those settings, but it also has like an automatic, it seems to put your hand in. And this little tool, I mean, works great. So this is the thing that uh, I made out of it. This is, you know, the pretend nail. So this is what you do. You put it on and... It, it it makes a nail. 
and then you just you know shape it and and color it and and all that whatnot so I'm super happy and I still have all like all the colors that I had before for my gel nails and whatnot still work because you can still you know do gel color on top that's why there's that that base coat stuff there um, you have to buff this off because it actually like gives you like an actual nail so I am extremely happy super excited and it's kind of funny because I really wanted this stuff and I was waiting for my GSC to come in on the 5th to actually rebuy all this stuff um, from AliExpress. Well, not all this stuff, but just the gel, whatever, whatnot. So, happy a little girl here. Kind of funny turn of events, but um, I'm nonetheless extremely happy.